So this is what I've got so far on the Concord. I know I'm the worst artist ever, but um, the reason I wanted to touch on this again, I know somebody had just put a Concord on the website, but I wanted to get the nose to move, so that was my main objective in this. Once again, worst artist. It's just a Sharpie, but... Um, so I'll just go right into it. I know it hasn't flown yet. I don't have the motor on. It's going to be a pusher. It's going to go right there. I haven't flown it yet, so we don't know if it works. I'm, a, I'm thinking, actually, that the wingspan, uh, wings need to go up a little farther on the fuselage. That's what I think I'm going to have to redesign it. But we'll fly it tomorrow and figure out what's going on. So do the nose here real quick. I'll show you what, how it works. If I can find it. Not bad, huh? And I, I'd been thinking the whole time on how to get that to work just right. Because you need it to be strong so it can be stable in flight. So what I did, actually, is there's an, uh, an, another nose inside of here. And I just put another piece of foam right on top. You can see it right there. And then this, the secondary, the pointed nose, just sits on that when it's in the down position. And it's sturdy. I mean, it's not go it's not going anywhere. You can see it's nice and steady in there. So, did, uh, I'm going to be having the motor on it tomorrow. We'll take it out, and I'll put some flight videos up. And If successful and everything works out, maybe I'll put the PDFs up for grabs for nothing, maybe. We'll see how it goes. But uh, until later.